Hello and welcome to another USOR Games tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to be part of a series of several tutorials on the character sheet. Um, that uh, The reason for that being is that it's uh, the, the character sheet is pretty involved. There's many components to it. Um, and I felt the need to kind of just um, break it down and go step by step so that uh, all you players out there will have um, the opportunity of, of really getting to understand how to utilize the character sheet. So let's go ahead and we'll start by um, just clicking open the character sheet, creating a new character. Um, just give it a few seconds, it needs to load up the program. There we go. Um, now I want to point out that when you're first looking at this character sheet here, you can see that there's a lot of components to it. And it looks pretty overwhelming but uh, don't let that fool you. It's actually pretty easy to use, pretty straightforward. And once you get the hang of it, um, it's pretty quick. I myself can create a viable character that works really well in the game uh, in just a matter of minutes using this form. So um, it might, might, um, there might be a bit of a learning curve, but once you get the hang of it, uh, I think you'll, you'll really start to enjoy it. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so what we're going to do in these tutorials is... Um, for the character sheet is we're gonna just gonna go section by section uh, until we cover the entire uh, character sheet. Right now we're just gonna be focusing on the basic information up here and explaining what all these different elements are. Um, first, character name, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, we can just call ourselves wherever we want. Um, <clears throat> now, um, level is something we need to talk about because levels are um, used a lot in role-playing games, but um, they mean something different in this game compared to most other role-playing games. In most other role-playing games, level represents your amount of progress in the game. In this uh, game, it does not. Level is simply a, um, a quantifiable measure of how many character points your character uh, has. So, um, translating, what that means is that if you're playing a superhero game, you'll probably start off with a lot more character points and you'll probably be like level 30 is your starting character level. Um, whereas if you're playing a more mundane character like in a spy thriller kind of game when there's no magic or monsters or anything like that, you're probably going to start off at around level 10 or 11. So um, the way the game works is you'll be assigned a certain number of character points from the game master and then those character points will then translate into a level that your character is and the more character points you gain the more levels you gain but when you gain a level you don't gain specific things the the, um, the, the level is just an indicator of how powerful you are and that's a, a great way for the game master to kind of um, uh, use that as a gauge to, 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 to pit um, opponents and monsters against you so if you're level 11 and a monster is level 11 because monsters and and opponents are all they're all created using the same system the same character points uh, th that gives the game master the ability to um, properly pit an equal level uh, uh, opponent against you. So um, that's the whole thing on levels. And right next to that, of course, you can see our current character points and total earned character points. Um, so again, those are um, uh, that's really the meat and potatoes of the character sheet. Um, the, the with the character points, you can spend those on. Um, on any given aspect of your character, whether it's attributes or skills or abilities or powers or spells, uh, all those are are purchased with character points. And um, you'll find that as we go through the character sheet, as you start assigning values to things, your character points will, will go down, your current character points. Um, and for the purposes, for the purposes of um, Fragments of Karn and the Danian race, the uh, minimum number you're going to need in terms of character points is 16,800. You can see it in that gray screen there. But um, you can start with any number of character points you want. You can start with 50,000 um, character points or 100,000, whatever you want. Um, usually it'll be assigned by the game master. They'll say start the game with 16,800 or start the game with 20,000. They'll, they'll usually assign um, the number of points that you'll have. Um, either way, you know, you just you, you punch that in here, and as you spend it, you'll see your character points, uh, your current character points going down. Of course, you cannot have negative character points, um, and we'll get into more of what that's that's all about later. But you have to have um, uh, zero or or higher character points. And um, 
Next purchase with rating. Um, this one here is, you don't have to enter this field in. It's purely optional. This is just your way to keep track of the next purchase that you want to have. So let's say you've got a dagger skill of 12 and uh, it's 293 points to have a dagger skill of 12. But if you want a dagger skill of 13, that's going to cost you 340. So you would need 47 point character points 47 more character points to get to dagger skill 13. So you can simply type in dagger 13 and 47. So this means that I'm waiting to get to, to dagger 13. That's going to be my next purchase with character points. And I need 47 character points to do that. So um, whenever this gray box over here, current character points, when that reaches 47 or higher, that way I know I can go down here and punch in 13 for dagger and then I've spent my character points for it and then I, that I've made my next purchase and then after that maybe maybe I want dagger of 14 next and then I can put in the number of character points for that or maybe I want to increase my strength um, up the next level um, so you can put whatever in here this is just a way for you to keep track of what your next purchase is so you don't have to worry about it and again in this game it's the levels are completely arbitrary you see I put in 50,000 I'm level 19 it's not like you have to wait to get to a certain level to be able to improve things. It's just you get character points as you play the game, and then you can spend those character points basically whenever you want to improve whatever you want. And it maximizes freedom and creativity for the player. Um, so uh, that's the, the top row here. Um, primary focus and secondary focus. Now, in uh, for, for Danians in the, in the world Fragments of Karn, um, they have a primary focus and a secondary focus, which you have to choose. So um, the focuses are combat, skill, magic, and faith. Now combat is, they're pretty self-explanatory, but we'll go over it very briefly right now. Combat is for if you want your character to be focused on, 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 on fighting, on, on getting into the battlefield and, and using lots of weapons and that kind of stuff. A person whose primary focus is combat gets to have like unlimited rating on their weapon skills they can use all weapons they can use all armor they can use they get special uh, combat abilities like critical strike and parry and that kind of stuff um, skill is probably the most diverse of the focuses it's um, uh, in, in its narrowest form it's it's for it's for people who want to play thieves or espionage characters but uh, it also includes like engineers and uh, and bards and um, alchemists and, and uh, anybody who wants to, to have special skills that are beyond just regular mundane skills. So it's a very diverse focus. Magic, of course, is for spellcasters, wizards, and faith is for all the, the priest and cleric types. So when you pick a primary focus and a secondary focus, uh, that really decides the, the, the um, direction that your character will, will take. It, it affects what skills and powers and abilities and stuff that you can and can't select. Your primary focus, of course, that, that puts you, it gives you all the options of that focus. The secondary focus, you only get some of the options. So if you pick secondary magic, for instance, you don't get access to all the spells. You get access to most of them. But if you pick primary focus of magic, you get access to all the spells for, for, for this race. Fragments of Karn, the world, this is the, um, the genre or, or the setting that, that this character sheet is set in. And Fragments of Karn is the setting here. And we'll go over what Fragments of Karn is later. And the race uh, here is uh, Danar. They're kind of like the humans of, of the world, um, Danians. And we'll talk about what those are later. Um, flesh is, uh, that's the element of the, of, of the Danians. And that's basically, if your element is flesh, that means you're humanoid. In this game, we, we deal with elements quite a bit. So if you are a creature made of water, then your element would be water. But um, in this case, since Danians are, are, are humanoids, then, then the element is flesh, and that has certain game uh, consequences as a result. Gender, over here you can fill in whatever you want. That's just an empty field. We've already gone over secondary focus. <clears throat> Earned regals and current regals. Now, regals are the currency of the Danians. They're, they're like the dollars. So this just tells you how many regals you've earned, and this tells you how much how much regals you currently have, and then uh, max weight. Um, that's that's the um, that's the maximum weight capacity you uh, you can carry, and then your your weight capacity is just whatever your um, your your current weight uh, total is. 
So uh, this is the basic information right now um, that we've gone over. And uh, the next video, we're going to cover attributes. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned a lot from it. And I look forward to seeing you next one. Happy gaming.